Yeah, this is one of those videos where it's pretty mellow. I'm just going to be talking about what I feel is the truth because of my perspective and whatnot. And uh, remember a few weeks ago after I went on hiatus, given the whole heartbreak situation, and I talked about how November, December, and even early January, I was, you know, cleaning up social media, you know, just unfollowing people that either, you know, weren't like on Twitter, for example, just unfollowing over a thousand accounts that were either inactive or just posted spam and whatnot. It really reduced it to like less than a hundred people. Um, then on um, Instagram, the same thing, unfollowing a bunch of accounts that really weren't posting anything or just people I never really communicated with. It wasn't like a big, oh, you know, a new year, new me. It was just like, you know, well, new year, but let's just reevaluate how I use social media, you know, pretty much to limit my time on it and just like not follow people who just add nothing but negativity you know like they just post nothing but negative stuff ignorant stuff and then facebook is like the only reason i still have facebook to be completely honest is because i have three facebook pages a few facebook groups and i use it to promote my youtube videos and whatnot so i have to have it but i don't really i'm not as active on facebook as i used to be like i might post some memes on my personal page from now and you know from now and then and talk with some friends on messenger but you know even on messenger i have my a you know, active status is off. Like, you know, I'm not showing when I'm on and whatnot, because another thing about this year is like, okay, let me not be that person who's always starting conversations. If somebody wants to reach out to me, they know how to, you know, reach out to me. Unless, you know, I do have some select friends, mainly, you know, like guy friends who we watch the same TV shows. Like, yo, did you catch the flash last night or black lightning? Or did you watch the new dragon ball super movie? You know, that's really not the thing. I think I was really referring to myself starting conversations with, um, you know, girls, you know, I didn't want to seem like that guy that's always messaging all the time. No, 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 no. If you want to talk to me, you know how to hit me up. But one thing that I've really done on Facebook is I think I have less than 230 friends right now or maybe a little above 230. And, you know, I did a Facebook cleanup several months ago. I'm following, um, you know, unfriending a bunch of people. But over the past few weeks, you know, I've just been unfollowing a crap ton of people because, oh, man. And this is one of those political things where I get it. We have different opinions, different thoughts on certain things. And when it comes to Trump, my gosh, like, here's my thing. It's almost like the DC Comics debate. Like, if, you, if you're talking with a Batman fan, it's like, yo, could Batman beat Goku? Could Batman beat Thanos? Could Batman beat Spider-Man? Could Batman beat Superman? Could Batman, um, you know, beat? daredevil you know just listing off random characters because there's always the debate about one franchise versus another one character versus another what would happen and it's like oh batman could beat anybody oh and why because he's batman or because he has prep time and stuff like that and you really don't give a solid argument it's like you'll defend batman because you love batman no matter what you won't even admit when batman is in the wrong or in the when batman is about is in a position where he is going to lose, or even if he does lose, you won't accept that. You'll just say, oh, they cheated and whatnot. I feel the same way about Trump supporters who don't give good arguments or, you know, explanations as to why they support Trump, because it's just ridiculous. And I, I'm not going to lie. It, at first, I laughed when I, well, especially during the recent, you know, um, what was it last week this time? It was fast food at the White House. I was laughing my ass off because when I first saw it, I thought they were Photoshop memes. Like, you know, when I saw Trump and you got the big table spread of McDonald's, Wendy's, uh, I think Pizza Hut, Burger King and whatnot. I'm just like, yo, is it, yo, who did this? And no, I found out it was a real thing, like a championship, uh, what, college football team trip to the White House and have fast food. And I'm like, wait, what? And uh, allegedly this was due to the government shutdown since they didn't have people to cook. So we just ordered out. So I'm just like, wait, what? Like for the most part, it looked like everybody had a good time. So I'm not really knocking that. But it's just one of those things where and yes, I'm going to be that guy. And I don't want to be, but I'm pretty sure. I, I, yeah, I want to be that guy. I'm black. I'm black, y'all. I'm black and black, black, black. I'm just kidding. But at the same time, it's just like I know if Obama was in office and I hate to just say it comes down to a black and white thing, but. I, even if it was like Bush or somebody like that or Democrat or whatever, but let's just stick with the last president being former President Obama compared to the current President Trump. If Obama had all that fast food there, you know good and hell well they would have just dr drugged this man through the dirt. Like, man, he ain't shit. This is ridiculous. What kind of president does that? 
But then you flip over to Trump and it's like, oh, that's so nice. He paid for it out of pocket. And, you know, um, this was great. You know, even with the government shut down, he didn't have to do this, but he did. So those college football players should be lucky and whatnot. And I'm just like, what kind of bullshit are y'all smoking? First of all, I don't smoke or drink, but I would like to know what these people are on. It's like they won't call Trump for just doing ridiculous stuff when it's literally in their faces. But no, 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 no. It's a privilege that they had the ability to go to the White House and get that food. Now, let me just put it this way. If I were given a choice between drive through at Wendy's versus these bougie toothpick foods and, you know, gourmet dishes, the hell if I won't get a Baconator and a medium fry. But at the same time, it's the White House. When I go to the White House, I'm not expecting that. Now, here's my thing. Because I obviously, you know, this is a YouTube channel where I do reviews, TV shows and whatnot. So I have to be as thorough as possible, seeing different angles, coming up with theories. And especially in the game of politics, you know, that we live in today. I, in social media, I try to get the full story before I either do any videos. And I rarely, if ever, post anything online about my opinion on things of that nature. I want to get the full story because sometimes they'll put out a story without explaining anything. So it's like, okay, like, you know, being a former Liberty student and employee, when they talked about the whole, um, the former lawyer or something of Trump was what gave somebody an employee like $50,000 or something along those lines to rig the election polls. And I'm just like, whoa, 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 whoa. As much as I want to jump on this story, let me get some facts first. So that's why I do with this whole fast food thing. And then, you know, because of the government shutdown and whatnot, my first instinct was, okay, let's look into this more, you know, aside from thinking it was a joke because literally it did like somebody photoshopped it, but I do love how they photoshopped, you know, the hamburger into it. That was, that was pretty funny. It was just like, let me get the full story before I form an opinion. Because when I first thought, okay, these are college football players. The white house is the white house, but okay. What if it's like a football theme party or something like that? You know, what if there was like a room or something in the white house that was decked out, you know, in like football apparel, like it would have been like a cool event, you know, like, yo man, y'all just won the football team. I mean, the football game championships, let's have some burgers, some pizza, chill and have some fun. I thought that's maybe what was going on. But then, no, nah, it wasn't it. They had fries and presidential cups and stuff. And like, no, cold fries are like one of the those are heartbreaking because you can't reheat them like you can reheat them, but it'll never be the same. It's like, you know, if you drop a plate on the floor and it breaks, you can try to put it together, but it's not going to be the same. There's going to be some cracks. But when it comes to cold fries, it's like it's not even worth trying. You can put batteries in the freezer and they might get another charge to work for another day or two, but you could put microwave, you can microwave cold fries all you want to, but they're going to be cold fries, bland and tasteless. But, um, <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just laughing, just thinking about that, but it, it's just astounding the lengths that these Trump supporters will go through just to defend Trump when it could be anybody else in that position. And they were literally wreck that person for what it's worth because I remember the night this happened I saw Big Mac and Wendy's trending on Twitter I thought man it was probably just them throwing shade at McDonald's again so you know I'll probably catch up on the tweets later and to be honest what was it I had fast food for the first time in like a week um on Thursday be well no on uh Friday because you know we had some uh ice and snow in my area so I was pretty much you know in my apartment all week and you know just eating cereal oatmeal and drinking a lot of water so it felt good don't get me wrong so actually quote unquote treating myself I wanted to get a McRib but unfortunately they didn't have them they had the two for five so I'm like all right let me get a Big Mac no sauce no pickles let me get a 10 piece nugget got the Big Mac came home freaking Big Mac sauce so I got to make a rant video to McDonald's <laughs> <laughs> or at least tweet them that was jacked up and you know i just hate the big mac now i remember as a kid love liking them but you know as a kid i did i didn't eat sandwiches that big so i just figure you know um I, i'll just you know get a mcchicken which i love matter of fact after recording this video i might go get one now but um yeah i i, I went ahead and um big mac not even cooked or hot enough to melt the cheese so i could just imagine what a cold big mac or filet of fish tastes like i just can't even imagine it but really when it comes down to what happened yesterday i believe there was some kind of, if yesterday if i'm not mistaken like a nat a woman's march or something like that and then you had a group of um native americans or indians marching then you had that what that high school white kid that was like mocking one of the leaders and i'm just like man this is and then i've seen some good well sad but good collage collages made on the internet 
um, you know, from like, you know, the immigration era where, you know, black kids were walking into the schools, white kids were mocking them. And just just to name one of many photos floating around. And I haven't and I haven't and I really haven't yet or even I don't plan on it, but I'm just going to check it out um, soon enough. Check on some of these uh, articles and reports to see what people are saying in the comments. Like, you know, I really want to see how people are going to defend this. You know, the people who will try to, because I believe the uh, young man was wearing like a, a MAGA hat, Make America Great Again hat. So I'm just wondering how this is going to go down, because that's just disrespectful, regardless of um, what side you're on when it comes to Trump. But that's just flat out disrespectful. But yeah, I, I just feel like, you know, the these time, the one, the, the one and I uh, just be careful how you interpret this. One of the reasons I'm actually glad Trump is in office is because he's really allowing me and obviously a lot of other people to see people's true colors. And I'm not I'm not just talking about the skin that's on the outside, but just who these people are on the inside, because some of these people I either grew up with, I went to college with, I work with just seeing the kind of things they post online. It's like, man, wow, like you think, you know, somebody, but then they post some ignorant shit. And it's like I'm either unfollowing or unfriending you because it's just like, wow. And no, I'm not that guy that gets on lines like, yo, I'm going through a Facebook cleanup. I'm getting rid of everybody posting this and that. No, 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 that's not me. I'm more discreet than that. If, you know, I see a post and just like, because I'm, I'm at the point where I wish I had this attitude now at 27. Like I, if, you know, this attitude now, um, back when I started Facebook, when I was like 18, you know, if somebody is on your social media, like I'm not saying they're posting on your wall, but if they're in your newsfeed and whatnot, just unplug like you know you don't nobody's forcing you to follow or be a friend to somebody online it's either you can hide a post you can unfollow that person you can unfriend them i've just gotten to the point where i just don't give a shit it's like i don't have the energy to even deal with this it's like if somebody shows their true colors like that it's like well there's really no need for us to be in communication anymore if you feel that way different opinions is one thing but just being ignorant is another so i'm not saying Trump supporters are bad because that's like saying all black people are bad because one person robbed a store. That's not the case because there are some level headed Trump supporters that I do talk with, not online in terms of on each other's walls, but in our, you know, messenger, private messenger and whatnot, or even in person, we have good discussions, healthy discussions. It's like, Hey, we might not agree but at the same time. We respect when each other, when, you know, the other person makes a good point or whatnot. But at the end of the day, it's not like, you know, we're spitting at each other's faces. Like, I don't know what happens when those people go to their homes. I don't know what they say to the people, but I know at, at least when our face to face conversations happen is actually very respectful. I mean, same thing with being a Christian, you know, uh, going to Liberty University and speaking of the whole voter thing. I do not regret my time as a student whatsoever. I mean, yeah, yeah, it sucks being in debt, but at the same time, it's like, you know, that, that education taught me so much, you know, like I'm not allowing what President Falwell does at the school as well as what decisions or statements are made by the higher ups affect my opinion and perspective of what I know from my experience. Like, you know, those quote unquote ignorant or evasive statements they make to pretty much avoid answering a question that doesn't reflect the professors I had who were wonderful. Some of the professors I still speak with today because it has such an impact on my life. The ones who prayed for, uh, you know, prayed for me in the class, got to know individually, the ones who gave me recommendation letters and what have you. I've met and still know a lot of great people at that school. I just don't like how they do business because, again, I worked there three years. So I do have a bird's eye view of what went down on the inside as well as what went on on the outside as a student, you know, and as a former employee. So. Let me just put that out there. I do not regret my education there, nor my time working there. Yeah, definitely wasn't the greatest job, but I met some great people along the way and I did learn some things. But at the same time, it's like, you know, you you just don't know. It's like that's again, the one of the few things I do appreciate about this administration is I, I just love the fact that I am really seeing who some people truly are. It's amazing how it takes the worst of times for actually see that but it's just amazing that i'm finally seeing it you know so that's one thing i do appreciate about the trump administration it's just like you refuse to admit when this man is wrong if i'm not mistaken in a recent interview uh, uh jerry falwell jr said that there's nothing he can do that will make me not support him and i'm just like what the fuck I, I don't know but in any case folks 
Uh, those are my quick thoughts. You know, the government shutdown is currently the longest shutdown in history. This is probably how this it, it would not surprise me if this shutdown goes on throughout 2019. As long as my tax return comes back, as long as they like, look, man, you ain't got to pay your student loans. The federal student loans could the government shut down. That would be cool with me. I ain't complaining. But at the end of the day, I do feel bad for those workers who are either working without pay or not working at all because they're not being paid. But, you know. I think my mom was like, you know, oh, well, you got all these degrees and whatnot, and you're smart. You know, you learn quick. Why not you um, go to the administration? I'm like, man, this shit. Nope, I don't care. Because, uh, nope, because I wouldn't be getting paid for one. So I'm better off doing my freelance stuff here on YouTube and eBay. So with that being said, folks, let's keep it civil in the comments section below. Let me know your thoughts on what's going on in the world today politically and you, about if you care to share how about your social circle ever since the trump administration started have you found your social circle being smaller but at the same time a smaller social circle of true friends and people in your life i like that a lot more than having i'd rather have like 20 solid friends than like 500 friends who are just you know shady as shit so there we go let me know your thoughts subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you soon Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit that thumbs up button as well as leaving your thoughts in the comment section below so we can keep the conversation going. On the left hand side of the screen you should see a picture of Jeffrey Harrington. You can click on him in order to subscribe, but also hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. Also you should see some videos appearing on the screen as well that I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy if you enjoyed the one you just saw. But also be sure to follow me on social media such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all my social media will be in the description below. And in order to help this channel hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to need your help. So make sure to share this video as well as the channel around with all of your friends on your own social media. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll catch you all in the next video.